Hey everybody. Hi. We got a nursing baby, so we're getting creative with the camera angles. <laughs> um, we that we <laughs> we'll see if a boob is shown in that part. Um, all right, I'll just take you guys to the deck while Tina deals with a crazy baby. All right. Um, I've been doing a lot of deck work and it's going really well. Um, so I just walked out the front door of the yurt. We've got a lot of deck boards installed, kind of wrapping all the way around. Now I'm walking towards the utility room and I'll turn again. And so we can go all the way to the utility room. So if you see boards that are dark, those are ones that Gary and I put in last year in September and so they've had time to age where the other stuff is fresh stuff I just milled so it'll age as well um, I was considering sanding and putting a, a deck finish on but talking to Gare about that he thinks that it just become a, a frequent maintenance thing that's just not worth the trouble versus just letting the wood naturally get that patina color so we're just excited to have a deck. It'll be a lot easier to host people and enjoy the yurt by having, we're basically adding as much square footage as inside the yurt outside. Mm -hmm, it's a big space. So that's fun. And so I've got kind of where, where it wraps around the yurt towards the chimney is where I need more wood. I've worked through most of the good stuff that I've milled. And so next step would be cut down one big tree or two medium sized cedar trees and I'll be able to finish finish the decking. And then the other big thing to do is all the railing, um, you know, posts every so often and then railing um, around the vast majority of it. Only over here close to utility room will uh, we'll just have steps and no railing along the side. So it'll be easy come, easy go, kind of from our driveway side here onto the deck. So that's what's going on with the yurt deck. The kids are doing good. They only have like two weeks of soccer left. And then before we know it, school will be out for summer break. We've hit 80 degrees a few days in a row. There's an inch of rain coming this weekend and then more sun after that. So. The grass is growing way faster than the animals can eat it. <laughs> things are just going crazy. It's almost as tall as we are. And things are starting to dry up. I'm draining the pond, so the pond will probably be completely drained soon. And then that ground can start to dry up and we can um, do all the earthworks we need to do this summer and then hopefully never drain the pond again for a long, long time. Um, what else is going on? So we bought two young goats on the same day I talked about getting a buckling with good genetics to breed into the herd and at the same time I found a guy less than two miles away with some young female uh, goats and since we had such bad luck and every one of our babies this year was a male we thought that buying in a few more females to help jumpstart our herd will be good and there was a disaster with that the small buckling um, day three, I found him, he, by some freak accident, he got tangled in the, in the fencing, those temporary strands of fencing we use and strangled and died. And that was awful. Um, it's just awful for the goat to go that way. I, I was here by myself and I couldn't have missed it by more than five minutes at most. I had just seen them taken all off to eat and go to the bathroom and come back and found it and couldn't save him and it, it was just miserable but those are the kind of things that happen it's still we had him for such a short amount of time it's hard to say if um, if any of it was a personality thing that he was just going to be a challenge with fencing or if it was just a weird freak accident but we've never had that big of a disaster with fencing before the other goat we bought the same day is doing totally fine um, but it's just terrible to have an animal die that way, especially a little new one. And we paid more for him than we've paid for any animal before, so that stung as well. But the breeder, Sylvia, has been really nice and offered to help when it comes to breeding time this fall because we were really counting on him to kind of mix in some more genetics mm -hmm. before every year after that we manage breeding just within our herd. So we'll figure something out and then um, we should be okay. 
We're still adding sheep within the month, and I'm really excited about hair sheep. They should do really well on the property. And just seeing places we've had the chickens and had the goats and pigs before, the grass is just exploding. Mm -hmm. There's spots where it's going to be taller than us soon. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll probably have to hit everything with animals and even mow to catch up. And we can just tell we need a lot more animals. Yeah. Um, we processed two more pigs, and that went well. We made a bunch of it into sausage and ground mm. pork, and it's good stuff. That was fun. Um, and it's working well to just have the pigs in with the goats, and so hopefully that continues to go well. The main challenge this time of year is as soon as it gets hot, the pigs start spilling any water they can spill, which is kind of annoying because we usually water the goats and dogs just in a bucket right now, but the pigs are starting to spill it, so we've got to kind of secure it and all this stuff. So pigs are gonna <laughs> pigs are gonna lose their spot if they keep being annoying. annoying. But I think a, a wider a, a watering system that's wider than it is tall, unlike a bucket which is taller than it is wide, I think that'll help. So we'll we'll get that building. figured out. Mm -hmm. But that's it. We're working like crazy, and it's hard to set aside time to make videos when I look outside and could just go get more work done <laughs> instead because there is a long list of stuff to do. Yep. Okay, well All thanks right for sticking with us and we will see you next time. Bye! Tina made carnitas with our new meat. Ivy mostly likes the sour cream. Is <laughs> that good? <laughs> What are you doing? Oh boy! <laughs> I see three peekaboo. Oh peekaboo! Oh, in your nose! Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, you can have the softest skin. That's the new moisturizing oh. regime. <laughs> Full fat tummy. <laughs> oh baby, you are silly. Bye bye.